the post office was turned to uh, in the 19th century to sort of arbitrate this, and, and they established Sugar House uh, with the space as the official name of the area. But if you were in Professor Christopher Lecluse's class at Westminster College... It's not Westminster, Westminster. Westminster. And you spelled Sugar House as one word, he might not mark your paper wrong. Sugar House is a compound word, two words working together to mean one thing. And over time, compounds tend to go in that direction. They start out being written as two words, and then eventually start to be written as one word. He teaches history and structure of the English language. I found in old, old copies of the Deseret News, Sugar House written as one word as early as 1872. And so uh, both it written as two words, as hyphenated, and as written as one word has been kicking around, you know, really from the beginning. That is the one constant in language, is that it always changes. And so you'll see different versions of a word written in different ways at the same time and people not being able to agree on which one is right. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. As for the sidewalk spellers who were certain Sugar House is one word, not sugar house, sugar house, sugar house. <laughs> I'd say in some ways they're on the leading edge. Uh, over time, compounds tend to be written as one word the more and more people use them. Think about all the other compounds with house that we write as one word. Firehouse, smokehouse. In short, the correct answer for now, sugar house is two words. But in a century or so... I would predict it's going to go over to one word, and that's the form that's going to stick. In Sugar House. Two separate words, uh, sugar and then the second word house. Todd Tanner, Fox 13 News, Utah.